Hey guys, welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be showing you how to mix your CS41 powder chemical kit. To do this, you are going to need a few things, like a 1000 milliliter or 1 liter pitcher, a funnel, two 1000 milliliter chemical storage bottles, a waterproof thermometer, plastic stir stick or straw, scissors, and of course, the CS41 kit. I have provided links in the description to all of my recommendations. Before we start, there's a few tips I want to add. Keep everything very clean. Even a few drops of Blix, soap, or other contaminants can ruin your developer. Mark your containers clearly to prevent any confusion and processing out of order. Crack open a window while you are mixing. Try not to breathe these chemicals in so much. And keep in mind this doesn't have to be exactly perfect. Just try to get as close as you can. The first thing we're going to want to do is open the kit. Inside there are three bags. There's only one bath for the developer and two for the bleach fix, aka Blix. And finally, some instructions. You're gonna wanna make some room in your working space or your sink. We are gonna start off with the colored developer bath. The first step is to place 600 to 700 milliliters of water into a clean glass or pitcher. Note that it also says to keep the water temperature at around 100 degrees Fahrenheit or above 38 degrees Celsius. That's where the thermometer comes in to check that the temperature is correct. Now use a clean plastic stir stick or the TCS-1000 to circulate the liquid. I don't have the TCS-1000 so I'm going to be stirring with the plastic straw. While circulating, add the contents of the packet marked color developer. Stir well. You're going to pour in the color developer bath number one while stirring. While circulating, top off the solution with more water to make a thousand milliliters. Make sure the water you add is still 100 degrees. Keep stirring until you fill up the rest. Using the funnel, carefully pour this into one of your clean storage bottles and label it developer. I would also label the lid. Before you move on to the bleach and fix bath, you're going to want to rinse out your funnel, pitcher, and stirring stick. You're going to repeat the first two steps from the developer by pouring 600 to 700 milliliters into your pitcher at roughly 100 degrees Fahrenheit and start circulating with your stirring stick. However, now you are going to pour part A, bag number 2, into your pitcher while still stirring. You will not top this one off with water yet. Pour the solution into the other clean storage bottle. Now add the contents of the packet marked part B. Combining creates an endothermic reaction. This will take around 5 minutes so leave it alone until then. Afterwards pour the solution back and forth between the pitcher and the bottle. The funnel I have is from Cine Steel and comes with a mesh filter. If you have the same one you can use this mesh filter while pouring the blicks from the pitcher to the bottle to catch the leftover clumps of powder. It doesn't say how many times to pour back and forth. I usually do it a few times and end off with the solution in the pitcher. The next step says while circulating, top off the solution with water to make a thousand milliliters. Once again, use water that is around 100 degrees Fahrenheit to fill up the rest. You can now pour this back into the storage bottle and label it Blix. I would also label the lid. You are pretty much done. There are additional steps about creating a stabilizer slash final rinse bath. However, I would recommend using Kodak Photo Flow because it's cheap and it lasts a really long time. If you want to get a little bit more use out of this, I strongly recommend using non-transparent OPEC storage bottles. This will keep them strong as well as give your chemicals a longer shelf life. If taken care of, you should be able to develop two to three more rolls of film. I noticed there were some parts in the instructions that were not very clear, so I hope I was able to help you if you are new to this. However, that is the end of this video. I'll see you guys in the next one.